hello and welcome back to the Web Monkey Show. I'm Alex and a happy new year to you. Yes, this is the very first official video for the year 2021 and hopefully uh, this year is going to be much better than the previous year. Fingers crossed. Now, I don't know about you, but I had a very interesting introduction to the new year because apparently somebody or a group of people tried to brute force attack my website one of them at least and this is the website right here it is the webmonkeyacademy.com and it's basically my academy where i host all my wordpress courses if you're interested of course be sure to check out uh my website and see what courses i have uh for you now what you're looking at right here is basically my email box and as you can see right here i was getting tons of notifications telling me that a user was logged out from signing in. This is just one page. I have another page right here. I have another page right here. In fact, this happened throughout Sunday and Monday and I had nearly 800 uh, such notifications and eventually I got tired of it and I put an end to the attack. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I did. But before I go any further, let me not take anything for granted. Let me explain to you what a brute force attack is. This is the default login page for WordPress, right? Now, a brute force attack is where a hacker will try thousands and thousands of different types of usernames or email addresses and passwords in an attempt to gain access to the back end. That's why it's called a brute force attack. We're talking about thousands and thousands and thousands of attempts by making use of a program or a bot. Now, a brute force attack relies heavily on two main criteria. One is that the software running the attack should be able to find the login page for the website. And then secondly, the actual login form itself, all a user has to do is to fill in the username and the password before they can attempt a login. So there are two things you could do. You could either decide to disable the default login page for your WordPress website and then use a custom login page, or you could even add a third field to your login form, usually to be in the form of a capture. But before I go any further, all these notifications, I was getting them from this plugin, which is the WordFence security plugin. In my humble opinion, it is by far the best plugin for WordPress security. And I do have a full tutorial here on YouTube where I show you how to make use of this plugin. Uh, be sure to check it out if you haven't done so already. There is a paid version of the plugin, but the free version provides you with enough protection and also shows you and also provides you with services to protect your website against uh, brute force attacks. So that's exactly where I was getting all these notifications from. Now, let me open up one of these notifications and show you what it looks like. So it says, uh, this email was sent from the WebMonkey Academy. A user with this IP address was locked out. And the reason is because they exceeded the maximum number of login fillers, which is five. And you can see right here, this is the email address they tried, first of all. That's the IP address. The location here is Denver, Colorado, the United States. Let me open up another notification. Now, this one is another email address, me at nickdale.com. This location is Dallas, Texas. So basically this person or this group of people tried hundreds of different email addresses and passwords. So like I said, there are two things you could do. You could either disable the login page for your WordPress website, the default login page, or you add an extra field to the actual login form itself. In this case, we're talking about CAPTCHA. You could use a plugin, which is the Advanced No CAPTCHA and Invisible CAPTCHA by Shamim Hassan. It is very, very straightforward to use. When you install the plugin, all you need to do is to go to your settings, right? You will see the Advanced No CAPTCHA link right here. You click in there, and then all you have to do is choose version two, I am not a robot, provide your site key and secret key which you can get from the recapture website. So you go to google.com forward slash recapture. From this page, you go to your admin console. You will see the plus button right here. You, you click on plus to add your domain. You add a label, you choose recapture version two, add your domain right here, and then simply hit submit. When you do so, the service will provide you with a site key and secret key, which you will then copy. And then you come back to your WordPress website. And then you simply uh, add them uh, right here. And then for the enabled forms, you choose the login form to enable it. You save the changes. And now this is what the default login page will now look like. So in addition to providing the username and password, the user will now have to tick the box saying, I am not a robot. They will have to solve uh, this challenge as well. 
This is one fantastic way how you can defeat brute force attacks. But here's the problem. I was unable to do this because I was not using the traditional login page for WordPress. I was using Elementor to build my login page. Now, if you don't know Elementor, it is a very powerful uh, WordPress page builder plugin. And let me show you what I'm talking about. This right here is my login page that I built with Elementor. The problem here is that the actual element that you could add to create the username and password, you cannot integrate the Google Capture service with it. That's the unfortunate thing. So I was unable to do this on my website. So what did I do? I did the second option, which is to change the default login page from my WordPress website. And I did it, did that by making use of this plugin, which is the change WP admin login uh, by Nuno Moraes uh, Sarmento. So I simply installed it. I went to my Premier links page right there and I changed from the default forward slash WP admin to something custom. So basically right now the bot or the robot or the software can no longer find my actual login page for my website. So those are the two things you could do. You could either add a capture service to the login form or you could change the default login page for your website. In fact, you could actually combine both. You could add a capture service and then also change the default login page just to be extra security uh, conscious. So that's exactly what I did. And I would highly recommend that you do exactly the same thing as well. So once again, uh, if you haven't checked out my YouTube tutorial on the WordPress security plugin, be sure to check it out. It is a fantastic plugin that will protect your website and send you notifications like this whenever anyone gets locked out uh, from attempting to uh, brute force attack uh, their way on your website. That's uh, basically it for today's uh, video where I showed you what I did to prevent or to put an end uh, to a brute force attack that was attempted on my website. And of course, I don't think that because maybe your website isn't big enough or your website isn't popular, there isn't somebody on the internet out to get you. You don't know who that person might be. In this case right now, this could be one of my students. It could be somebody who found my channel on YouTube and just decided, hey, uh, let me try to brute force attack uh, this guy's website. I don't know why people like people do things like this, but it is what it is. You do have very uh, funny people in the world and uh, people with nothing better to do with their time, unfortunately. So if you have any questions about uh, today's video on what I did, any questions about brute force attacks, any of these plugins, uh, be sure to put them down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer as many of them as I can. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, of course, give it a thumbs up. Do share the video with anyone who may feel might benefit from it. I'm Alex. Stay safe out there and I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.